John chapter 4. Now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more of disciples than John, although Jesus himself was not baptizing his disciples, he left Judea and returned to Galilee, the Samaritan woman. He had to pass through Samaria, so he came to a town of Samaria called Sacher, near the plot of the land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired from his journey, sat down there at the well. It was about noon. A man from Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone on to the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered as and to her, If you knew the gift of God and who was saying this to you, give me a drink. You would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket, and the well is deep. Where then can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself with his children and his flocks? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I shall give will never thirst. The water I shall give will become eternal and in his spring of water, welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come back. The woman answered to him, I do not have a husband. Jesus answered her, You are right in saying, I do not have a husband. For you have five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship that you do not understand. We worship what we understand, because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here, when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And indeed the Father seeks such people to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Anointed. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who was speaking with you. At that moment, his disciples returned and were amazed that he was talking with the woman. But still no one said, What are you looking for? Or why are you talking with her? The woman left her water jar and went into the town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I have done. Could he possibly be the Messiah? They went out of the tent and came to him. Meanwhile, the disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Could someone have brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say... In four months, the harvest will be here. I tell you, look up and see the fields ripe for the harvest. The reaper is already receiving his payment and gathering crops for the eternal life, so that the sower and reaper can rejoice together. For here, the saying is verified that one sows and the other reaps. I send you to what you have worked on for the others who have done the work, and you were sharing the fruits of the work. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him because of the word of the woman, who testified, He told me everything I have done. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them, and he stayed with them for two days. Many more began to believe in him because of his word. And they said to the woman, We no longer believe because of your word, for we have heard of ourselves. We know that this is truly the Savior of the world. Return to Galilee. After the two days, he left there for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place.